really the, the thing that we've had to kind of work with the most is the idea of play. Um, and, and you know, in our culture, that word is used pretty uh, lightly and loosely, and sometimes it's, again, it's kind of in a dismissive sort of way. Play is something children do, and, you know, we're supposed to be serious and grown up and mature and all of that stuff. Um, and really what we were discovering was that play was all of those things, lighthearted and frivolous and fun and all of those things, and it's also got a lot of depth mm -hmm. to it. And sometimes it's very serious. You know, we used to say, you know, we figured, figured out if there was a period, a, a point where tears and laughter were happening at the same time, that's where God was. You know, so it's like that th those, those things are deeply met. Um, and so we have this really broad idea of what play is, and I think we also have a broad idea of, of what fun is. But it, at, the very, at the very basic, it's a pleasurable physical experience. Um, and, you know, it's not, it's, it's not always in community. You can have fun on, on your own. Um, but there is often a community element to it. So like the, I think one of the other things that we learned was that if you can get people to laugh together, that's the best way to create a group connection without having to touch. Um, like if you can get people in physical contact with each other, that's a, also a good way to create a sense of groupness. But if you can get them to laugh together, they'll have that same experience, you know, without necessarily having physical contact. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it may be one of those things that's just so elemental um, that you recognize, oh, if I'm, de if I'm describing something as fun, okay, that's enough. Um, and it may be, it turns out, I mean, this is, we, we would be true of any experience that you can describe it, you can give a name to an experience you might be having. Um, and I don't know exactly what experience you're having, but I might see recognition. I might have kind of a recognition of some sort of overlap, even though I'm not sure exactly what it is that you're experiencing. But that seems to be one of those basic ones where someone says, that's fine. You can say, oh, yes, I know. I know what that means. <laughs> and I like it, too. Um, and we're obviously, we're attracting people who want to have that kind of approach. So obviously there are other people who are attracted to, you know, the deeply serious and whatever approach and people who come to it's work with us are... It's a little wilder. You know, fun is a little wilder. And so we... And it's a, therefore also a little more mysterious. I think we tend to discount anything, you know, separate ourselves a little bit from anything that m maybe maybe put us on edge a little bit, you know. So there's a good reason for that. I, I do not trust a lot of people just willy nilly. Um, I want to know that I'm going to be safe enough when I enter a space. So to have fun or to play, which means I'm not going to ha know what the outcome is and how to do that socially, you know, plays well with others. How am I going to do that? Um, I want to have my curiosity invited. I want to know that my mind is going to be involved. I want to know that I can take care of myself. I want to know that this is a permission-based space. It's not a controlled space. Somebody isn't going to tell me uh, how I'm supposed to behave. I mean, there's some requirements. And in interplay and our practice and teaching and leading life in general, we try to exemplify that more than tell, say those things out loud. Yeah. But those are underlying. We know that we create safe enough spaces through having that in our bodies. And yeah. we teach other people to have that in their bodies too. We encourage it, you know, that we, we're playing, um, but we're going to take steps. We're going to make this incremental. We're going we're gonna to go together. Um, we're going to find out and learn what's here together. Uh, we don't know what's here, right? But we have ways of, 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 of going through a process, um, these little art forms and practices. And sure enough, over and over again, people feel like, oh, this is cool. I love this. And eventually they wind up, many of them wind up saying, why do I ever want to do it another way? <laughs> so play becomes, again, a blessed, beloved situation rather than a don't, you know, don't mess with me because you're telling me to play, play. So, which I think, you know, a lot of play spaces aren't play spaces. 